I'm not even close to a perfect setter. In my opinion, I have so much more that I can get to. And that's the hardest part is like, I'm gonna get too old and I'm not gonna be able to get to where I want to go because my body's not gonna wanna do it. And you know, in volleyball, there's a finite time where you can play and you know, even move how you wanna move and play at a high level. I'm not worried about where I'm gonna get and where that's gonna finish when my body says stop or you know, when my career is done because I know that I'm going to get as far as I possibly could because that desire and that drive is never gonna stop. Because volleyball is so tough. Volleyball is so difficult. And you can never be even close to perfect. And so as a setter, I think I'm a good setter. I think I do a good job in, in, in um, relative terms to what setting is now in volleyball and around the world. But man, do I think I can get better. And like, that's the fun part about it. That just fires me up because I'm always trying to work on something. There's always something that I can focus on to get better at. And it's not only with setting, like certain things can influence setting and the way that I'm doing it. And so I'm always trying to learn, always trying to be like a student of the game as much as I can, even though you can say that I've reached a very high level of setting. For me personally, that doesn't matter if I'm you know, in this upper echelon of setting or not. That's not what I'm going for. I'm going for like the best me, but the best Micah Christensen setter I can be. And I think I can get a lot better. And so that's the exciting part is that I'm not trying to compare that kind of stuff. The exciting thing is like I'm, I'm playing against myself almost in terms of where my mind is at and how much better I can get based on the things that I do well. And so that's a, that's a long winded answer to a question. I didn't even answer your question. So on a number scale, I think I'm a good setter. I think I'm a really good setter. I'm trying to be like self-aware, but being a really good setter, even a really good setter right now, like there's so many things that we can get better at. We as, as setters, as, as upper echelon setters. It's so hard, man. Nowhere near 9.5, five or six. Cause that's, I think I can get that much better in my career. Incredible, just, hands that you can't replicate. Nobody can try to be Luciano De Cecco because he is him. He is, he is individually him and his technique is incredible and he's got this specialness about him. He's an incredible setter. Bruno, incredible leader, incredible setter. He's a commander of his team and super admirable. Somebody that you can definitely, everybody, I think, can learn from. Gianelli has just constantly been great since when he was younger, growing into who he is now. He's been great at the top, top of his, his game at the top level of world volleyball since he was young. Super long, talented, athletic, big hands. Does everything you want whether it's setting, whether it's anything that you want, he can do it all. And so another guy that you can really study and learn a lot from. He is so talented as well, super physical, very athletic. His touch is great. He's got that French setter style, like really technical and tricky, but he's a bigger player. And so he's a great blocker, a great server, but also he's got this wonderful technique setting and he's tricky and poised on the court. So another guy I would encourage younger players to watch and learn from. I'm going to maximize my absolute potential as a setter and as a volleyball player, as a leader, hopefully. But that being said, like when I finish my career, I know that there's still things I would love to get better at. And I know that for a fact, even, you know, when the career's, I know the career's gonna finish several years from now. But knowing myself and knowing how I operate, I'm gonna know that there's certain places I can still get a lot better at.